had never gotten you know, anything less than like a 90, ever. I, I thought that they maybe gave me the wrong test. It totally destroys any like shred of confidence you have in yourself, but then it like builds it back up because you're like, wait, no, I can totally do this. And it teaches you how to take an impossible problem and break it down and actually go and tackle it. Uh, we favor crash pads over training wheels. Driving a solar car 3,000 kilometers across Australia on the open highway is not risk-free. We had a team, they rolled our vehicle at 50 miles an hour. Ours was the only car with a roll bar. You have to have a risk management attitude and policies in place so that you can make it work. So I view my job as a teacher mostly as designing experiences through which students can teach themselves. I mean, the MIT undergraduate education is, in some respects, mostly peers teaching each other how to solve the impossible problems that have been given to them by the faculty. Um, not the faculty, just like transmitting knowledge into their heads. Nobody's smart enough to get through MIT on their own. If it isn't highly dangerous or illegal, you can do just about anything you want. And, and so MIT is, a, is quite a permissive place. A fire in the belly, which is like, if you don't see something in the world, how likely are you to go out there and make it happen? MIT took from me the easy but brittle self-confidence of not having been challenged. And what it left me with in return was the confidence that I could eventually, if I worked hard enough, I could, um, I could do anything that I wanted to do.